All right, finally got a newspaper. Let's see what's going on in the outside world. It looks like Beatles break up. <gasps> no, not again. Wait a second. Beatles break up? That happened like 50 years ago. What's the date of this newspaper? 1970. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Stardew Valley, everybody. I was just checking out this soggy old newspaper I found fishing yesterday, and it sure is old. Can a guy just get some news from the outside world? We get like three stations in this town. We got the weather. Tomorrow's gonna be clear and sunny. We got the fortune teller. Spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on our side. And we got uh, living off the land with Farmer Green Beans, who gives us very common sense farming advice. <laughs> Let's talk corn. It's an unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. That's right. While most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it in both summer and fall. Now get out there and plant some corn. No kidding, Sherlock. Like, I didn't know that. I've already planted corn. My gosh, these country bumpkins. They're so behind the eight ball. I need to know what's going on, guys. Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber, the important stuff. I quit. I'm going back to the city. Oh, wait. What's this? Our parsnips. <gasps> Outstanding. Check out our pickled parsnips. You guys came at just the right time. I had a moment of weakness, but I'm feeling much better just looking at these things. Oh, look at them. They look delicious. They smell delicious. All right, so let's, um, what are we going to do with these? We can either give them away because it's an artisan good and everybody pretty much likes artisan goods. Or we can sell them at a, uh, at a premium value. So I, I'm pretty sure the value of this is determined by what you put inside. So it takes the base value, multiplies by 2, and adds 50. So in this case, a parsnip is worth about, I think, 35 a piece. Multiplied by 2 is 70. Plus 50 is 120, according to my calculations. So we could sell. It's not worth that much. But uh, I think we're going to give this one away, actually, to, uh, to someone special. So let's hold on to that. But that is so exciting! Oh, it came at just the right moment, guys, because really, literally, I was ready to give it up and go back home. Hop on the bus. Actually, I can't because the bus is broken. All right, never mind that. Anyway, let's uh, let's throw the geos in here. We're not going to get these processed today because the spirits are unhappy, and they'll give us clay or rocks, most likely. You really want to do that when they're happy. And uh, I'm going to put the chub away. We're going to hang on to the carp for uh, Leah today. We have a salad. Oh, I'm sorry, the carp for Haley and the salad for Leah. And the bullhead's gonna go to the community center today. And, oh, check it out, we got a flute block. Right! Ooh, let's put it down. And you can change the tone of this. Oh, that's so cool. So every time you walk by it... Oh, oh you just stand next to it. Oh, that's great, that'd be like a doorbell. Sweet, I love it. Okay, now, let's do the farming. We don't have to do anything with the crops today, so that's one lovely thing about the, uh, the rain. And we're gonna collect our trash. Whoops, hey, you get back down there. And bloop. And we got some snails and some garbage. Uh, let's go ahead and rebate these things. We gotta do something with the trash. I got glasses, we got newspapers, we got other garbage. And I'm pretty sure that um, we got a recipe, didn't we? Oh, right here, recycling machine in the last episode. Right, I recorded that last week, so I forgot about it. But this turns fishing trash into resources. And we need an iron bar for this. So that means we can either go underground into the mines and reach level 40. And we, can, we can find iron ore. Or or we can go to cleanse and purchase iron ore. And I'm not sure how much it costs. So maybe we'll head over there and see, uh, see about that. Alright guys, it's now 9 a.m. And all the morning farming chores are complete. So we have one final task. And that is decide what we want to pickle or jelly. Now we can make jellies out of fruits, and we have a strawberry here, and we have some salmon berries. I think I want to hang on to my strawberry because I know the second I turn this into jelly, someone's going to want a strawberry. Because that's how things work here in Stardew Valley. And I don't think I want to make salmon berry jelly because it's not going to be worth very much. Salmon, berry, belly, salmon berries don't sell for much. So how about we pickle a potato? we got five of them. So we have a surplus, and it sounds delish, doesn't it? Pickle... Pickle taters? No? Sounds good to me. All right, anyway, let's get on with it. We have a full day ahead of us. I think the first stop is down south to Marnie's. We're going to drop off these pickled parsnips for her and hopefully gain access to her bedroom. Um, what do we have for a heart with Marnie? 
And get your head out of the gutter. No, I have no interest in Marnie. <laughs> she's too old, she's not my type, and she smells like farm animals. Yeah, we only have one heart. But we want to get access to her bedroom to look for the mayor's shorts because they have kind of a thing going on between them, right? So I think the shorts are there. And hopefully if we give her the pickled parsnip, she'll love them so much, she'll give us access, access to her room. And then we'll head down to Leah's and give her her salad that we bought for her. It's been a couple of days, so I'm ready to deliver that. But first, stop Marty's. Let's get to the bottom of this. Hello, Marty. How are you? So Marty sells animal supplies and animals. And uh, she's way too expensive for us, and we're not ready for that. So here's her bedroom. We can't get in there. We're not good enough friends. So let's see if we can't become better friends. Hello, Marty. How are you? Listen, I know about you and the mayor. I think that's very cool. I love animals, Mr. Punchwood. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. <laughs> oh, I get it. You want to keep this on the down low. You don't want the kids to hear. I get it. No problem. Here, have some pickled parsnips. Thank you. Dang it. They're not good enough. I hope you enjoy my pickles. Urgh. All right, well, she apparently does not want me to go through her room right now. So, um, you know what we could do, though? Ooh. We've never been. This is Shane's room. <gasps> We've never been to Shane's room. He's got a soccer ball. It doesn't look used. Maybe it's a collector's ball. <laughs> I don't think he's played soccer in a while. He's he's working hard over at Joja Mart. He's got a, oh, he's got a game console. It's a mega station. There's a game in it, but it's routed through a Code Sultan XL. Looks like someone's been cheating. What a hacksaw. Oh, man. We don't like people that cheat. Uh, what do we got here? Is a radio? Looks like he's using the radio as an alarm clock. Yeah, he does have to get up early in the morning to get to Jojamar in time, doesn't he? His bed sheets are kind of dirty. What's this? A book. How to raise chickens. <gasps> he's working for the spy chickens. Just kidding. He's, he's helping his aunt work the farm. Oh, here comes Jess. So that's that's uh, that's very nice of him. Oh, he's got a picture of a chicken over there, too. Maybe he is working for the spies. Let's go say hi to Jess. Good morning, Jess. How are you? Oh, are you looking for Aunt Marnie? No, we just chatted. Thanks anyway. All right, Marnie. I'll be back. Wink, wink. <laughs> to continue my investigation. <laughs> Let's head down to Leah's here. Maybe we'll catch her before she heads out. Although everybody seems to stay inside in the rain. Oh, hi! I thought I heard some banging coming from the outside. You're still working on the big pretzel. Looks great! Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Yeah, Leah, I agree. Something spicy. And I have the perfect side dish for something spicy. It's a salad. Oh, look, we got the big heart. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. All right, let's check, guys. Four hearts, four hearts, four. No! Dang it, only three hearts. Well, I hope you enjoy your salad. I don't have any salad dressing for it because I'm not sure what kind of salad dressing you like. Oh, oh, it's time to paint. Okay, uh, I'll let you get back to it. Sorry to disturb you. Hope you enjoy your salad. <laughs> I guess she doesn't like my salad. I was hoping for four hearts, but let's go check on Haley now because Haley's got three hearts, too. And we have a carp for her. And this is a, a, a quest delivery, so that's going to be worth a bunch. But first, let's check the garbage, make sure no one's around watching. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> oh, they're home. <clears throat> knock, knock, knock. Hi, Emily. You looking for a good book to read today? Haley is a picky eater. It's so hard to cook for her. Oh, I bet it is. But maybe you can cook this carp for her, because I'm sure she has no idea how to cook it. There she is. She's in the kitchen. She's trying to figure this stuff out. <laughs> it's probably a TV dinner. <clears throat> Hi, Haley. How you doing this morning? I spent all morning doing my hair. Now the rain could mess it up. Yes, uh, it could, but then just stay inside. But listen, I got something for you. <sighs> life is hard sometimes. It truly is. Maybe this will make your life easier. You don't have to go fishing for it. Check it out. It's a big one. It's, uh... Oh, it doesn't have the size, but it's the biggest one I've caught so far in Stardew Valley. <gasps> it's exactly what I needed. I'm so happy. Four hearts. Woo. And it changed color to yellow. You love it, don't you? Awesome. I'm so happy you like my carp. All right. Yeah, put it in the oven. That's what you do. Yes, you're right. Wash it first. Uh, you should probably scale it and fillet it. And then you, you don't know what to do, do you? Nope. You're going to go ask your sister. Okay. <laughs> we should get out of here. 
<laughs> I don't want him to get caught in the middle of another fight trying to clean and cook a fish. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go check the board in town and see if there's any special requests. Oh, nothing. Nothing, but I, I do need to see if there's any birthdays or anything coming up. Oh my gosh, it's Gus's birthday and I gave away the pickle parsnips. Oh, dang it, Gus. Well, all right, let's go to the saloon and we have a spice berry. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna like spice berry. Oh, wait, oh, Louie, Louie. Hey, I checked in with Marnie today, but she won't let me in her bedroom, but I think that's where your purple shorts are. You know the shorts, wait, come back. Come to Garden is a hobby of mine. I'm so excited for this warm weather. Yeah, it is warm, but it's rainy too. All right, yeah. Um, are you heading into the bar? Sure, I'm coming in too. <laughs> He's like, hi, Gus. Hey, Gus. I gotta go around and talk to him. I'm gonna give him a spice berry. I mean, everybody likes spice berries, don't they? Hey, Gus, I got something for your birthday. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. I bet you do. That's one of the benefits of being a bartender. <laughs> I've got nothing with this guy, so let's give him a gift. Oh, a birthday gift. Thank you. We got a heart. You like the spice berry. I'm so happy. That's great. All right, we'll see you guys later. Um, I got some stuff to do. Maybe I should just go say hi to... Uh, who is this over here? Oh, it's Sam. Hey, Sam, you getting a cola? Nothing like an ice cold Georgia cola on a sopping wet day, huh? True that. All right, enjoy your cola. I don't have anything for you. Yeah, right. Okay. Adios. All right, let's get over to Clint's quick, quick, quick before he closes. I want to buy iron. We're not going to make it. He closes at four. Oh, man. Sprint. Run it out. Spent too much time at the bar. Go, go, go. We can make it. 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 Made it. <gasps> Clint, you're here. Don't move. Don't you move a muscle. I want to buy something. Maybe. 150 for iron ore. Well, I ran all the way over here. I'm out of breath. I twisted an ankle, so you know what? Give me five of those iron ores, baby. One, two, three, four. Wait, I need five, right? Yeah, five. Five to make a bar, and then we can make a recycling center and get some resources. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure doing biz biz business with you. Let me come back around here and say hi. Did you know that Emily loves emerald? It's her favorite. Oh, that's a good tip, Clint. Thank you very much for that tip. I need to write that down in my notes because I'll forget. Oh, you want to leave now, right? Um, what should we do? It's 4.30. I don't need to go to the mines today. Let's just head down to the beach and see if we can scavenge some things. Might not be a bad day to farm. What do we got here? Oh, I forgot to collect my 90 from Haley. She will love us forever. Awesome. Got a clam. That's not worth much. I suppose we could do some fishing. Got an oyster. Oh, another oyster. Oh, yeah, it's one of those really expensive shells. Oh, we got that stranger over here, but he doesn't want to talk to me yet. Let's see. Old Mariner. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Nope, not ready. Let's fish for a bit, and then we'll head up to the community center and drop off that uh, bullhead that I have. I haven't fished in the ocean in a while, so let's see if we can get some ocean fish. For our ocean fish bundle. What is this? Oh, red snapper. Hold on. Actually, let me see what we have for the ocean. What we need. Perfect. We need a red snapper. That's great. And we need a tuna, a sardine, and a tilapia. So let's see if we can catch them here. There's one down. Another hit. Got him. It's a red mullet. Oh, man. Those dang mullets. Lightning. This is probably not the best idea. New achievement, Mother Catch. Mother Catch? How is Seaweed Mother Catch? I don't know what that achievement is. Where are these achievements? Here it is. Mother Catch, catch a hundred fish. That was seaweed, you dang fool, but I'll take it. Awesome. Uh, let's go fish somewhere else. I'm gonna fish off the docks and see if I can catch a glimpse of the sea monster. Apparently, there's some kind of a sea monster in the water once in a while. I don't think you can catch him, but you can catch a glimpse of him. Ooh, this seems like a different kind of fish. Oh, it's a halibut! I've caught a halibut. Yeah, I forgot that the, uh, the, the, the spirits are mildly perturbed today, so we're not going to have very good luck. That's why we're catching seaweed. 
Although, whoa, whoa, just, just dove. We got you, we got you. It's another halibut. All right, last one. This is so addicting. Can we get a perfect catch? No, ooh, dropped fast. He's just lying on the bottom. Oh, we got him. And it's another halibut. All right, we're at the community center. Let's drop off these fishies. Hello, little guys. Where is it? Right here. We've got an ocean fish, a red snapper, bing, and the bullhead, which was a lake fish, right? Yep, there it is. And the bullhead. We just need the sturgeon. I wonder if we should go try right now. It's still pretty early, and we can finish this bundle. Glittering boulder removed. I don't even know where a glittering boulder is. Nor do I know if we're even able to catch sturgeon in this season. But I wonder if we should try. It's 920. Well, let's go do it. We can always take the shortcut back home. All right, do a little lake fishing. Please be a sturgeon. That's no sturgeon. It's a carp. Oh, we got a big one. We got a big one here. Come on, fella. It's uh, another bullhead. All right. This will be the last fish of the night. It's getting late, and I'd like to get back and make that recycler. Oh, perfect catch. What you got here? It's a bullhead. That's enough. Got plenty of fish to sell. Let's get back now. Oh, no. I'm all out of coal. I can't smelt the iron. Dang it. All right, well, we'll go get some coal tomorrow, so we'll put that in there for now. And let's, uh, let's go sell some of these fish and shells, and then we'll get to bed. I'm going to sell the coral. I think I'm going to keep one mussel because I don't have one, I don't think. Sell the clam. We'll sell all the fish. Sell the red mullet. That one, that one. Okay, great. And that's a keeper because it's a golden star belly. And you know what? Let's just get to bed. I'm not going to make it, am I? going to make it before midnight, and I made it. I made it. I made it. Made it. Perfect timing. Okay. Here endeth the 8th of summereth, year 1th. Made 895 gold. Not too shabby. Let's shut it down, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. <laughs>